You are now streaming worldwide on RadioOnFire.com and the Radio on Fire app. Welcome back to the Diamond K Show. Of course, here on RadioOnFire.com, the Diamond K Show.com. Governor Hogan, Larry Hogan of Maryland, is also releasing a book on his tenure and on politics. Uh, Governor Hogan, who considered challenging Donald Trump last year, said today that he is releasing a book about national politics and his experiences as governor later on this month. And the publication was delayed by the coronavirus pandemic. Usually books like this serve as an introduction for politicians to a national audience. And Governor Hogan, a popular Republican in the heavily Democratic state of Maryland, has not ruled out a run for his party's nomination in 2024. The book is called Still Standing, Surviving Cancer, Riots, a Global Pandemic, and the Toxic Politics that Divide America. So as you can see, the book, which was initially scheduled to be published last month, but was delayed until July 28th after the governor decided to add some experiences as head of the National Governors Association during the pandemic, is going to be interesting. He says that it is about our combined successes in the face of extraordinary challenges. The inside story of moving beyond extremism, breaking partisan gridlock, and bringing people together to advance bold, common-sense solutions that have defined the last six years in Maryland. I, I was definitely someone who was wrong about Governor Hogan. I initially, maybe it was it was being partisan that I uh, did not give him a chance at the onset of his uh, administration and term, but I have definitely come to respect what he has done, how he has guided the state of Maryland through this pandemic, and uh, the fact that a big difference between it, he's probably one of the better governors that we've had in Maryland, if not the best in my lifetime, definitely one of the best ones. Uh, the way that he has run things has been, I mean, pretty common sense, pretty, pretty common sense. And uh, the fact that, of course, in the big scheme of things, Maryland is not going to uh, decide any election. But the fact that he can uh, bring the state of Maryland, he can win his state, uh, contrary to uh, O'Malley, for instance, who was unable to win Maryland. Uh, but Governor Hogan firmly has uh, the support of Maryland if that's what he chooses uh, to do. So uh, the book will also include material about his challenging first year in office, which included the riots in Baltimore uh, after the death of Freddie Gray, who uh, suffered a spinal injury that ended his life, 25 years old, in the custody of the police. He's also going to talk about uh, his battle with cancer, and he is now cancer-free. Um, Hogan also, also clashed with the White House back in April when the governor announced a $9 million purchase of 500,000 virus test kits from South Korea. Hogan said that the Trump administration had made it clear that the states had to take the lead on testing and had to do it ourselves. Uh, Trump criticized Hogan at a White House press briefing, saying that Hogan didn't need to go to South Korea and needed to get a little knowledge. Uh, but I'm glad that he did do that, thinking outside the box and using his resources to his advantage. So uh, looking forward to reading his book. And uh, looking forward to see if he goes for the Republican nomination in 2024. So, uh, kids, young people, uh, old people, uh, many people are, are definitely going to be concerned about this next story. Uh, the U.S. is looking at banning 
TikTok. They say that the Chinese social media app is a security threat. That's going to definitely upset some people. Uh, The government considering this ban, according to Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, the video app, which we talked about, is owned by the Chinese company ByteDance and has an estimated 65 to 80 million active monthly users in the U.S. And of course, this is the app that shares the short videos, 15-second videos with quick edits and music and filters. TikTok exploded last year with over 175 million downloads in the U.S., and over 1 billion users worldwide. So they've been talking about uh, the investigation into TikTok's relationship with its parent company and, moreover, the Chinese government and whether those reported ties pose a counterintelligence threat in America. Pompeo told Fox News that the Trump administration is certainly looking at banning Chinese social media apps, including TikTok. TikTok is not taking this laying down. They, of course, are saying that they are led by an American CEO. They have hundreds of employees and key leaders across safety, security, product, and public policy here in the U.S. And they have no higher priority than promoting a safe and secure app experience for our users. Uh, But the Secretary of State has cast TikTok as a security threat and accuses them of sharing user data with the Chinese government. Uh, TikTok denies this and they say we would never provide user data to the Chinese government, nor would we do so if asked. Uh, As I said, the company is owned by ByteDance. And uh, ByteDance is a Chinese tech firm that also started a travel search and real estate search site and is considered one of the world's most valuable startups. So this is going to be interesting, uh, to say the least, for users of the very popular TikTok. Take a quick break. Come back with more of the show after this. Giving you more talk, more news, and more music. It's Radio on Fire. Lastly, the pressure is on. I mean, the pressure is really on for the Washington Redskins to change their name as Nike, Walmart, and more continue to pull Redskin merchandise during the name change talks. So retailers like Target, Walmart, Nike have pulled Redskin merchandise from their shelves after the organization revealed that they were considering a name change because of the backlash that many consider to be racist, because it is. Target issued a statement on the matter saying that we are in the process of removing the items from our assortment. Walmart took to Twitter and said that they were discontinuing the sale of items that reference the team's name and logo. Nike previously pulled Redskin merchandise from their online stores. Pepsi also issued a statement saying, We have been in conversations with the NFL and Washington management for a few weeks about this issue. We believe it is time for a change. We are pleased to see the steps the team announced today, and we look forward to continued partnership. So, the pressure is mounting many brands and companies removing this offensive name and imagery from their companies and uh, I think with this pushback I think it's going to happen I think it's going to happen and uh, Snyder Dan Snyder is is not happy but it is going to happen and it is something that needs to happen it could change the name I mean be something else it can be something else Uh, but uh, pressure is something else ain't it and evolution And that's what it is. It's evolution. And I, for one, am glad to see it happen. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, at the Diamond K Show. Did I say LinkedIn? Did I say TikTok? 
Please tell his band at the Diamond K Show. Of course, if you miss any episodes of the show, RadioFire.com, the Diamond K Show.com, or wherever you get your podcast, type in the search the Diamond K Show. Hit the subscribe button on YouTube.com slash DJ Diamond K. I will see you guys tomorrow. Follow us on all social media at Radio on Fire.